Hey again guys and welcome back. Over here I have my 12 volt 30 amp power supply I got in a recent mailbag video uh, from Amazon and I figured it was a good time to give this a test so I can finally install my LEDs. Um, so I have it hooked up to my uh, safe testing platform and if I just hit the foot pedal you can't tell anything is happening but this thing is actually supplying 12 volts DC and I set this up the other day at 12.08 and it's actually pretty damn close to that. Now the interesting thing I've noticed about this unit just from uh, making sure it doesn't blow up before I turn on the camera is if I swap this to AC you'll see that it pulses an AC voltage. So every once in a while there's a 4.0 seven four point eight volt AC ripple in the DC output and I think that's because right now there's no load on the system and therefore it's harder for it to regulate. Now to save time I put these sort of four millimeter jacks uh, all over the output so you have uh, three grounds and three powers right there and I'll be using banana plugs to hook up these uh, these loads so here I have two three ohm uh, resistors in parallel making one and a half ohms so this should uh, pull about eight amps from this 12 volt supply and then I've got these two one ohm resistors which should pull 12 amps from the supply so basically how it'll work is this is eight uh, this is uh, this should pull eight this should pull 12 this should pull 12 so what I'll do is I'll test with uh, eight amps of draw and then I'll uh, try with uh, 12 amps and then I'll try with uh, these two together 20 amps and then these two together should be 24 amps and if I can get 24 amps out of a 30 amp power supply I think I'll be pretty happy so I think the first thing to do is to swap this back into DC and see how it holds up with a um, basically 8 amp load so I'm just gonna hook up the bananas I'm gonna turn off the power supply so it is off now and we'll put this now it's in DC so you see there's not much voltage left I will hook up this guy here and we're expecting this to get pretty damn hot but I will turn it on and here it goes so we still got 12.06 volts right there on the multimeter and we are pulling considerable load yeah these are getting warm okay let's switch this to AC to see the ripple oh, it's still giving us a ripple though I'm not sure if that's a function of this uh, meter or not, but let's see uh, what happens now. We'll swap it back to DC. And the power supply is off. These things are warm but not hot. We will try to go for, um, actually it doesn't matter which way I plug this because they are um, just resistors, but it doesn't matter. Keep the colors matching. All right, so now we should be pulling, that was a eight amp test and now I'm going to unplug this guy and this should be a 12 amp test make sure this stays on the silicone because this will get hot here it goes so do we have there we go 12.09 it's getting hot already but it is surviving. Let's push it to AC. Now we're still getting that ripple. Might have to pull out the scope for this. And I'm gonna let go now. So now the power is off. Switch this back into volts. And you see, almost no voltage. We're going to plug our eight amp load. Now we should have 20 amps of draw. And let's see if the voltage collapses. Here we go. Nope. 12.9 the fan has still not turned on yet we are pushing a lot of current through here 20 amps we're pulling 20 amps on two of these rails that's not bad I'm gonna turn it off and we're gonna disconnect our 8 amp load is this hot oh yeah that's quite toasty and disconnect this guy so the wires are not hot but the aluminum is definitely hot you have to put it somewhere where it won't melt anything Okay, this guy must be very hot. Oh yeah, oh that's toasty. 
Ooh, it started discoloring the uh, the silicone there. It is very hot. Wow. Yeah, I could probably uh, toast some bread over that. All right, we're gonna plug in this guy here. Now we're gonna go for the real drag race. This will be pulling uh, 24 amps out of a 30 amp maximum. And this will be all at once when I turn on the switch. So, you know, I might pop the fuse inside my little uh, thing here, but we'll see. Three, two, one. Nope, still 12.0809 volts. The fan still hasn't even turned on yet. I'm going to leave this on for a little bit, but yeah, these poor little guys are cooking. That's for sure. Let me turn this to AC. Now oh, we're still getting a pulse. I might have to check that with the scope. Oh, one of the resistors is smoking. That's like, oh yeah, that's really hot. Discoloring the, oh yeah, it's melting the mat. All right, well, technical difficulties. I will bring you back in a moment. Well, that got ridiculously hot. I have now only have the uh, 8 amp draw on it now. I'm just curious to turn it on for a little while and see if the fan turns on because now I'm getting concerned even at that high load, although it was very short, um, no fan has come on. So I don't know how loud the fan is for one and for two, I don't even know if the fan is functional. So the unit itself is not warm. It's actually pretty cold and I feel quite comfortable uh, touching this because it does have a ground wire which is grounded to the chassis, which is very nice. Yeah, these guys are getting pretty hot. Less hot than those 1 amp um, resistors, that's for sure. But yeah, my uh, silicone mat turned blue in places. I don't know if it's doing it again. No, it's doing it a little bit. But yeah, that was ridiculously hot. I'm just trying to see if I can turn on this fan here. Because uh, I haven't opened this up. It has a seal on the side, and I really don't want to you know, send it back to Amazon if the seal is broken. Yeah, these resistors are getting hot. I'm starting to be able to smell them. I guess it'd be better if I had a, a metal plate on top to dissipate the heat. And I know a lot of people uh, said that before, but uh, the honest truth is I don't really have anything at hand, so I will get a better setup eventually. But for now, this is what we're doing. In case you're wondering, this is a 14 gauge wire here. This is 16 gauge here. I just don't have that much wire. Yeah, these are getting pretty damn hot now. I'll unplug it. Oh yeah, there's little wisps of smoke. Yeah, there, look, it's discoloring my uh, silicone mat again. It's now more bluish. So I disconnected this. Um, there's smoke coming out off of them, but I think that's just the surface finish. But I'm keeping the power supply on, uh, as you can tell if I turn this back on. There we go. See, it's still 12 volts. And I'm keeping it back on because I want it to keep getting hot inside, keep working. So I want to see if that fan can turn on. Seems to be wisps of smoke still coming off of these, I think. Yeah, see, look, they're so hot. They've discolored the pink. It's turning blue. That's ridiculous. I think I will need some sort of metal underneath it. You can see the change in voltage when I plug these back in. And what's good is that these connections are staying ice cold, which is great. It's just the resistor is heating up. The voltage is staying extremely stable, aside from that weird AC hitch. Still no fan though, quite disappointed in that. I really want to see the fan turn on so I can tell the uh, that the fan is working. But I'm, you know, a lot of the uh, output MOSFETs are tied to the sides of this case and this case is not even lukewarm. So not quite sure. I guess I'll have to set up the scope and take a look at the AC. Okay, well, I needed to know what the heck was going on with the AC in this circuit. So basically the ripple on top of the DC. So I have the scope set up and the scope I'm going to put right over here. 
and I'm just going to turn it on without any load and we'll see what we get. And here we go. So you can see here the voltage peak to peak right there is hovering around the 300 millivolt mark which is really not that bad. So I'm going to go and connect a load onto it and uh, these resistors get really hot so I'm not going to have this going for too too long but here we go and now you see with the uh, 8 amp draw and we're still holding uh, 12.08 volts yeah about the same thing about 300 volts uh, millivolts peak to peak so 0.3 of a volt plus or minus so if I was really concerned about that I would just adjust the voltage up about uh, 300 millivolts or even 12.5 even if I was really that concerned and then I would be guaranteed that the voltage wouldn't drop anywhere below 12 volts. It's pretty decent for a device that is this cheap that can actually output the current that we need and I think it'll be plenty for what I want to do and by the way I'm not really running any sensitive electronics from this power supply mainly I bought this to light some LEDs on my workbench over on that side and I might use them also to uh, replace my two studio lights or my studio light on that side and my um, LED bulb on that side with high CRI LEDs because I know a lot of you have been saying my lighting game is a little weak and I hear you and I'm trying to fix it. So I think that's it for this video. These resistors got plenty hot, even the other ones earlier got to smoking hot. And also if you're gonna probe a non-isolated supply like this, uh, this ground here is probably connected to the chassis. You're gonna have to make sure that your uh, plug on your oscilloscope is insulated uh, with respect to ground. That's what I did in this case. You see I have kept on tape on the ground pin. And if you don't know what you're doing, uh, please don't do this. But other than that, if you want to see the LED install, you're going to have to sign up onto Patreon or wait an extra month. And for the rest of you, I want to thank you all for watching.